is me, uh, kind of a little earlier actually than I've been for the last few days. Um, what a crazy, amazing Monday this has been. Uh, started all, even for the clips, and just maybe an hour ago, uh, with more things that uh, pop up on my email and also my news feed here. But uh, tonight's topic is going to be about what you as a mom are creating with your kids. Okay, so let me tell you a little bit what happened this morning. So last week, a friend of mine from Georgia connected with me and she wanted to get in one of my programs. So of course, I say, sure, let's talk about it and why not. And uh, long story and long story short, um, during our talk, uh, they just left her daughter in school at the dorm uh, and whatnot, and she's very concerned uh, and whatnot because her daughter happened to have a uh, tumor, a brain tumor of some sort. Um, so we keep talking and whatnot, and I'm telling her, you know, that she is going to be okay because of the amount of values and caring and love that she you know, herself, the mom, have put and planted in her. So she should not be afraid of uh, her going to college. Okay. Hello, Lady Kathy. Thank you for joining me. This is going to be great for you to hear tonight and everybody else that's going to be coming in and joining me. <clears throat> so my Monday, I was telling everybody, it just started kind of crazy uh, with a friend of mine, uh, just letting or not letting, but leaving her daughter uh, as a freshman in college at her dorm, first time, right? Uh, but she also happens to have a brain tumor. So while we're on the phone this morning, going over her uh, fitness regimen and whatnot, her daughter is texting her that she's feeling like she's having convulsions. Yes, that was my morning consultation this morning. And her husband jump in and uh, tells, tells her that it's okay that she thought she was coming with one, but she was feeling funny and whatnot. So she's telling me all this. And from a therapeutic and fitness consultation, we just moved right into the coaching part of the consultation. And I was telling her, you know, that she is going to be fine because everything that she has planted in her over the years, that she's strong and resilient. She's been through so many surgeries. So that was my 8 a.m. In the AM. Then we had the total eclipse. And then one of my former clients, friend, is actually hosting a golf tournament coming up pretty soon. And primarily all proceeds goes to help her friend pay for the chemotherapy bills. And it just moved me, you know, uh, just kind of throw me out of whack because Kathy, I know that you guys do fan and I'm involved with two or three other children cancer foundation charity. And it's amazing how these kids, so little, but yet so strong they are. But the cool thing and the real deal is that they're getting stronger because parents like you guys are backing them up, you know, starting them out right, giving them a strong foundation. And it's so important for you guys to be there for them not be sick, be at your prime, if not optimal way of living, because you never know when your kid's going to need you at a minute's notice, at a moment's notice. So fast forward to maybe it was 6.30, 6.45, and I get another email from another friend that her daughter is also going through some sort of a tumor surgery concept, and she doesn't know what to do because she's not equally to be there for her because she's having health issues herself. And this is somebody that's probably 45. <clears throat> so, you know, move, that was like at 6.30, 6.45, still the same day today. And now just a little bit, I got on the news feed, I was reading uh, from a friend of mine, former colleague of mine, that her daughter just went through surgery out in New York successful surgery, but it's also, again, tumor, possible cancers, and whatnot. 
But the common denominator is that all these kids are just so super resilient despite all the treatments, all the medications they go through, all the chemo they go through. It's amazing, you know, how strong they are, how humble they are, you know, and it's just mind blowing. You know, it makes you kind of think twice when you whine about your coffee not being ready or your car not, you know, being fast enough or parking being full, you know. But behind all that amazing things that these kids that are going through these tough situations is a mother, you know, and it's a mom that have planted such a great seed of values and foundation for these kids to be able not just to go through it, but be able to share the story and live to a better life. So we just got done talking this weekend about body shape and body image and self-awareness. And we were talking about the new trend of fat yoga and how Oprah, Shape Magazine, everybody's kind of picking on all these young kids and, and whatnot. And then this is my today, just how crazy it is um, about this amazing kid. So again, I want to reiterate how important it is for you guys and you guys, many moms, to take care of yourself the best you can because you don't know when your kids need you at the minutes, at the moment's notice. You know, and I don't mean go on a diet. I don't mean you to go CrossFit. I mean for you guys to really hydrate, just do your basic self-care because, you know, I always preach it, you know, Carmel knows it, Kathy knows it. We might be the head of the house, but the head does not move without the neck and you guys are the neck. So you guys need to really, really take care of yourself. Do what's best for your future, not for today, not for tomorrow, but for your future. So start thinking legacy wise what's the legacy i always tell uh my private clients when we're doing our mini conferences you know the way to think about it is when you're looking at yourself outer outside body experience whatever you want to call it and people are coming to your viewing at your funeral you know what do you want those people, your relative, your friends, your co-workers, your best girlfriends, your BFF, anybody, everybody that's coming to your view, what do you want them to be saying when they see you? What an amazing woman, what an angel, what an amazing provider, what an iconic figure, what is it? And that is kind of like the beginning of you living a legacy, okay? So it's not just about a dry size eight losing 10 pounds, you know, running 10K. It's not about that. It's way, way past that, okay? So I'm going to cut it short because yesterday we went way long uh, because we're closing the topic about body image and all the self-awareness stuff that me is kind of finally cashing on to, finally, finally. But, and if you haven't caught on to any, any of these topics that we've been going through, just scroll down, or better yet, go to my channel, uh, J. Carlos Fit Lab, and I've been saving them all. Uh, it's part of the online fitness summit that I'm part of with a bunch of fitness professionals and wellness coaches. We're putting great, amazing topics, answering tons, tons of great questions from coffee to ketogenic diet to cardio to wrist injury. Just go over there to the YouTube channel, and you'll get a lot of good nuggets. Um, but to, today was crazy amazing. I don't know if the clips had to do with it, but, you know, from my 8 a.m. to just an hour or so ago, it was just the amazing, amazing resilience and strength of all these kids. Kids, they're like not even 15. They're young. So uh, with that said, if you know any charity that supports children, that can be CFS, sister fibrosis, it can be children cancer, children tumor. Please, please join them. I'm going to do something special. I'm going to start cooking. You'll see. This week I'm going to create uh, something special to give back to these organizations. Uh, 
and most important to the families that are in need, like this golf tournament coming up. Uh, we're gonna create something cool, something great uh, that you guys can partake. I know Kathy, man, Van der Howen are just killing it. I love it, Get, getting better every year, giving more, and most definitely impacting more and more families. So I love what Kathy, Brad, and Eric, all those guys over there, that I'm kind of are doing. So uh, if you haven't, check it out. It's a really cool, cool event. Um, but there's tons, tons of ways that you guys can give back. I'm gonna, I'm gonna come up with something cool. Uh, believe me. Uh, so keep an eye for the next, in the next week or so. Uh, hey, special K, uh, how you doing? Lovely, lovely to see you. Uh, tomorrow we're gonna try to figure out a topic. Uh, we just got over a very touchy subject about body image, how the media um, have been catching up finally. Yesterday, uh, I don't know if I have it here. If you haven't seen the new Portland Monthly, I had it here yesterday. Uh, the insert on the Portland Monthly issue. I, I have the, the magazine, but I insert. Dang it. Um, is the women's health insert. And in the insert, it goes over the finally, when you guys go to your physical with your doctors, they actually finally, something I've been preaching for like 10 years, uh, they're gonna do actually a nutritional consultation, a general fitness assessment. They're gonna go, so it's not just your regular breast exam and you know pelvic exam and all that. Now they're actually gonna do deeper, which is actually the main reason why you go for an exam, right? So they're gonna do it. And most of the uh, practices, they're gonna be covered by the affordable uh, healthcare plan. So it's super cool to see that. Uh, look for it, for that issue. If not, um, let me know and I'll give you the details. Uh, next month, just head up, not next month, I'm thinking September already. October is Mental Awareness Month. So, so we're gonna be uh, cooking some great stuff for that uh, as part of that, because as you guys know, 44% of women uh, go through depression and most more crazy uh, or sadly, they go through PTSD. So uh, we're gonna work on that. But for now, this week, if you guys have any idea on how can I create something cool, I wanna create something cool for not so much the kids, but the parents, the moms that are really behind these kids that are going through this cancer treatment and chemotherapy treatments because you know they need it and we need to back them up you know we as a community we need to back them up because the whole party starts here in the home uh, with people with great hearts like you guys All right so like I said I'm gonna make it short tonight but tomorrow we'll come up with some ideas All right. Cool, guys. See you guys tomorrow. Check the YouTube channel for the rest of all the topics uh, that we've been going on over the last few two weeks of different topics from coffee to workouts and everything. All right. All right. Talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.